Talk to the warden who had a... Good evening, everyone. That's a spade the day. Hope everyone's doing well. It's Sunday. It is definitely Sunday. Sunday, October 20th, 2024. There's a day 294. Dr. <laughs> we are having a wonderful... Oh, dear. Where am I? I don't want to pour this on myself. That's... Yeah, and yeah. There's gotta be an e... It's empty. There has to be an easier way to work this thing. But I am... I'm out of it today. Very out of it. But that's because... We didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Okay. The day we should sit we should start with saying today. Um for some reason Sweet Pea, the youngest of the children, decided she didn't want to go to sleep last night. So she kept us up until six o'clock in the morning. Doing nothing but playing Untitled Goose Game. Well almost just almost exclusively untitled goose game. Magic ball. So, she was playing an entitled goose game. She was causing utter chaos. She stole a sandwich. No, 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 it was Lily that stole the sandwich because she was just skimmering Sweet Pea for a little bit. But, it, um... She did sort of, she did do something weird in Animal Crossing. She took a picture of a cow's face and just, like, really, really zoomed in. So, with this... Of a cow's face, it was, like, super, super close. Like, like this kind of uncomfortably close. And she would just be like, well, what red she says, like, no, I, th I think it was she started laughing because uh, she's like, Mama, look, and she starts laughing. And, and Tara's going going into the bathroom. And you just hear, do you like it? Sweet Bee's adorable sometimes, but please, for the, for the love of all that is holy, Sweet Bee, let us sleep. We like sleep. Oh, my goodness, we were up so late. And then, of course, the day started, so... Yeah, it was... It was a thing. This bottle of horse, and it actually empties out. You don't see a whole lot of bottles where they actually empty out. And don't worry, when I, when I fill back up by putting the cap back on, it's cola. I promise, it's, it's cola. Nah, drinking. I went to a rather interesting world. I'm going to put this... I'm going to put it over there where I found it. I think I can fill these glasses up with it. There are collisions here. Let's see. Boo. You can't fill the glasses up with it. And I am not going to try filling it up with alcohol. This is an alcohol bottle down here. Wait, maybe it's that one. Wait, what? Collisions, so look, the same way to turn collisions off here. Because every time I lean over, let's see if I can fill it up. Let's see. There's a glass here. Can it be filled? <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. You can fill the glass up and you can pour it out too. Or it's really fast. Obviously, faster than a bottle. Aw, wait, can it get swirl physics? Hang on. Does it swirl? No. Let's see, let's try here. No, it doesn't swirl. Oh well. It's kind of nice that the glass fills up, though. I think you can be like, yummy. And apparently, pour all over yourself. Wow. Having issues with the uh, controllers a little, apparently. They do not want me using gestures. Oh, there's still a little left. Yeah. Pour it all over yourself. I like that. It's very nice. But I'll go ahead and put these things. Ah. I'm gonna take it. No, I don't think there's a thing that's burnt off collisions here. Sorry. It would be nice. It would be very nice if they did, because I don't want stepping on the coffee table. It does have one of those uh, Polaroid cameras down here too. 
But first, let me turn this camera off. Look at my hands. It's... It is a... I can't remember. It's a PC-only world, though, called... War Room by... Randy... Is that a heart, or is that a B, or is that an E? Just Randy. We'll just, we'll just call you Randy. Okay, so... Just a special thanks to you, Lon, and Rain. I can't read the rest, sorry. I... I am not good with the foreign languages. But anyway, let me show a few things around that are really, really... You know, do I need to do it? Like, I want to put the camera back on. That's what I want to do. Like I said, I'm really out of it today. So I apologize. But and you'll just have to put up with me like this. There is something I might talk about, but we'll see. It was just a, a YouTube video I saw of another VR cat player. Who had some complaints and I kind of have my own thoughts on it, but I'm not going to call them out by name. But anyway, look, they have beta fish. Look at the beta fish. And luckily, you can't put your hand in and hurt the beta fish. If you try to hurt the beta fish, you are a bad person. And then, ah, uh, Lily will know what these flowers are down here. I don't remember. But they have two of these little flower displays. And I really... These flowers are very pretty. I like them a lot. See, there's another up here. But you can't reach that one. Sorry, didn't mean to stick my tongue out the gesture. And there's a third one. Third one. Lady. it. Ray, those lovely things. Anyway. Um. There are... There are pens here. Or, you know... Pencils. Of course, for the I can't draw whatsoever, so there's no real reason for me to bother. I can't draw at all. I have zero art skills. Well, Carrot doesn't have any art skills. He'd like to have art skills. He still needs to show... He still wants to do his cartoon of a pizza being rizzed by a toilet. And there's a bonsai tree down here, along with another beta fish. Quite nice. Although one thing that we do kind of wonder is why there are so many mirrors for this very simplistic bed. Hmm. Each their own, but it is a nice warm room. I'll give them that. And I do really like their cola bottle. And cup. I like their cola bottle and cup. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> it is, it, it's kind of silly how much I like that, but I do. It's really unfortunate that the pouring function pours it all over my chest. Because I don't like the idea of getting my clothes dirty with soda. I got all that high fructose, well, if it's American, it's packed with high fructose corn syrup or that beach. I wonder if I could build it up even more, hang on. Oh, you can! Can you overfill it, though? Shaking, it doesn't really do much, but let's try to see if we can overfill. You can! Hang on. It'll overfill and then go back down. Give it a moment. Alright, pop the top. That's amazing. That is amazing. They thought that through. Or they thought that over. <laughs> I like that. I like that. It's a it's it, it's silly what things that we're we're amazed we're uh amused by is the right word. But anyway, there was a um I don't even know why I'm talking about this. But yeah, there was, there was a uh, VR fat player who made a video on YouTube talking about their complaint of the, um, the kick button. Or, you know, the vote kick button that when people get kicked out of instances. I, I can understand. Their complaint was, um, being kicked from worlds for no reason. And my only thoughts on that, because they were talking about it and like, Understanding that there are times where people do need to be thick, where they're being obnoxious and stuff. 
But uh, some of the one, some of the examples they gave were you know you literally gave the reasons why you were being picked for instances. Like uh, they, they said something about like the rules of a place called. Um, I think he said, I, I think they said FBT Heaven has rules where you do not hit or you don't block the mods or the R. And well, they blocked the mods or and or owner, so of course you got it from th those instances. And sometimes what we don't notice is that sometimes, not always, but sometimes people have a reason to just quit you from an instance. Even if you like, like that example that they gave being kicked from that world, you you violated some of their some of their basic rules. I bet, but just to put it bluntly, you violated their rules. Their rules were, do not block the mods or the admin. Or, you know, the owner of that world. And uh, I, I kind of gave it some thought. And usually when, when people have those kind of rules, the first assumption is, like, my first... Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to stick my tongue out again. My first assumption was also, they have that rule because they want to have a power grip. Then I thought about it some more and remembered that the major complaint people have with the R chat is the, um, depravity. Where people tend to be more degenerate in nature and just an overall, um, being that, oh, I'm putting that putting it nicely, just being, how about this, being a dirt. And not following rules, not minding personal space, and, um, the concept of time and place. How about that? There is such thing as time and place, and maybe, maybe, th this is me just putting an idea out there. Maybe the, the people who have these public worlds, where they have rules of do not block the moderators or the, the R, is because they have to be able to monitor what behavior is going on in their public worlds. So their worlds do not get a ban for, you know, allowing that behavior to happen in public. Because that, that is an overall rule in VR chat is you can't let that behavior's not allowed in public. Or, you know, certain things. So they have to... So moderators need to be able to monitor what is going on in their worlds. And... It, maybe, maybe you have a disagreement with the mods and, or their, their moderators or the owner. You have a disagreement with them. And they already have the rule of you don't belong with us because this is our establishment. When you come to the point where you feel necessary to walk them, that establishment is not for you. That's how I see it. You have already made the determination, looking and being aware of their rules, that you can't get along with their moderators or owner to the point you have to block them. That establishment is not for you. It would be in, in your best interest to find somewhere else to go. Do not get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. You did show some examples in your video where there were people, um, either you or one of your friends was picked from an instance of, what was it, murder two or three? I, I don't do those. Those aren't for me. So I wouldn't only know the name. But it did look like they were picked from that world for no particular reason. And it didn't even seem like the person who kicked them was even around. So I can't sit there and assume why they were kicked from that world. So it does look like they were kicked for no reason. And I do know these kinds of things happen. Because I, um, in the rare instances, in the past mm, year, year and a half, Tara and I have gone to some public worlds, uh, Dune Tavern in, in particular, because but that was a world Lily and really wide, so we'd go there because he was more comfortable with it anyway. And people will go around just being an overall being back to the point where people use the vote pick system because maybe not they're the original, you know. Um, I, 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 I don't know fully how the pick system works because I've never bothered with it. At the very most, I'll mute or block someone. I've never bothered with the vote kick system. I typically try to ignore it until it just goes away in my eyes. 
But usually when I have seen that pop up in public instances, they've had a reason and they usually use the vote it system. If someone's being vote it from a world, the... The subject of the vote it does not get that alert. That, that's my experience. They don't get that alert. So everyone else in the instance will see it and they'll, and they'll either say yes or no. And usually if they say yes, they already don't like the person. But yes, there are instances where they're just being dingbats. I've seen the really rude people go around and getting people to vote take people for no reason. I, I've seen it. But I will tell you, if you're in an instance where someone or groups of people are vote picking people based off of the behavior, based off of the suggestive behavior of another person getting others to con be convinced that someone be picked from a world, that instance is not for you. That instance or that world is just not for you. And really, it, it, it's to an old... Uh, an old, how how I put this? An old um, personal policy that Terra has started started using a few years for. Uh, I'd, I'd say it's probably been about ten years now. Of uh, what is worth? So we'll ask you, what is worth your time and energy? <laughs> like, put it, put, don't not a monetary, just like. Put some kind of value to your own personal time and energy for each and every day. And when you're interacting with something online or, you know, out in the world. What is worth your time and energy? Do you want to spend your time getting frustrated because you're being picked from a VR chat world? Or do you want to assess maybe it's not worth my time going there if my friends are over there but I'm being picked from that world but my friends are not? Try to reassess and, you know, think of some possible reasons. Because if it's a vote that you're not going to see it, others will. And not everyone's going to tell you why. And of course, toward the end of their video, they said that they would prefer that people, you know, be more forward and be polite and ask people to leave. Most of the time, if someone has the power to vote it, well, I wouldn't say most of the time, but there are a lot more instances than you realize where people have already tried. Tried the, the route of being polite and asking people to leave. I'm sorry to leave this in the internet, and I don't mean a, a problem with just be arc that in general. The internet in general. Politely asking people to leave typically doesn't work. You either ignore them, or... That person reaches a point where they're being picked from a world instance or, you know, temporarily banned from a thread or platform because they keep violating those rules and they reach the point where it becomes just harassment. But believe it or not, the majority of trolling I've seen, yeah, that's not trolling, that's full on harassment. So, uh, if you're thinking you're being a troll, no, you're being a jerk. And being a jerk usually really cross and comes up to that line of are you just being a jerk or have you crossed the line into harassment? And harassment can, can be of multiple categories. It doesn't have to be one thing in particular. And I'm certain those who know, know what I mean. But again, is it worth your time? to get into an argument if people ask you politely to leave. But if you're the person who is getting really annoyed with someone's obnoxious behavior and you have that capability of picking someone from a world or invoke kicking, ask yourself, have you politely asked someone to leave a world instance in VR chat or a thread in something like Discord? Has that ever worked out for you? I, w I, I will be honest, I will be surprised and impressed if that did work for you. We're just politely asking someone to leave as work. Because in my experience, and I've been on the internet for, well, Tara has. I, I've been, I personally, as Tessa, have been on the internet for, uh, I want to say, uh, 
for close to, I'd, I'd say about 22 years. I've been on for about 22 years. Tara has been on the internet since 1995. So, we've been around for a very long time. Obviously, he's been on the internet long enough. Three uh, chat rooms, but he remembers the very early days of Yahoo Messenger. Politely asking people to leave a chat room never worked out. He, he, he's seen it all. And it usually, just politely asking someone, it was typically, actually, very quickly. And think about um, it, 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 the person who made that original complaint video. I am not going to link this to you because that I consider that one of those um, unspoken rules. Unless it is a spoken rule, well, a written rule now of don't link other YouTube videos onto other people's YouTube videos, and that's just rude. I don't do self. -pro I don't like. I don't even like self promoting. Like I, I, I've been, we've been in discourse where they have shameless plugs. And I always feel guilty when I share our videos on other people's discourse. I actually do feel a level of guilt, so I've really toned it down to really share them only with friends and not Discord panels. This I did. I just feel guilty over. But anyway, the other example they gave was a real-world example of getting in an argument with a store manager or the owner of a store establishment to the point where the next day they go there. They're being picked out saying, you're not allowed back. And they said, well, you know, I'm giving them money, so they just, so they owe me their business. No, they don't. They really don't. The thing is, that manager or store owner has come to a decision that the argument that escalated to a point, like the arg arguing with the employees and arguing with management and the owners, as still, obviously, you were, you may have already been politely asked to leave. Maybe. I I, I wasn't there, but I, I've, I've actually seen... Uh, recently, Tara saw something like this happen at a uh, grocery store. They got pretty nasty. I'll, I'll talk about it in a moment. But if they've asked you to leave, or there was a dis... Think it. How many times have you been to a grocery store? There's a simple simple disagreement or a simple mistake and it instantly just or not, not inst well if it's instant that person shouldn't be there to be dead with but how rapidly it escalates to a shouting match where it's like um excuse me ma'am or sir you need to leave we're going to escort you out of the store and if it's that bad they say you're not allowed back in our establishment you need to reassess your actions because it's seldom ever the manager or owner of an establishment just banning people because they had a small argument. It's usually a point where they say, business with you is not worth the risk. And, and that's exactly what management does, whether it's online or a physical establishment. They have to, when there has been a dispute, they have to weigh the risks of not getting your patronage versus the risk of escalations and whether or not it's worth the risk to their employees or, you know, their bottom line or other customers. They have to make that determination and sometimes it's not, it's the determination we don't want. So really the lesson there is, if you're going to an establishment, the customer is not always right. The customer is always right in taste, in taste, but they are not always right. And being a customer does not give us the right to be an argumentative being bat jerk because this is if you're there to give money, it's not it's still not a public establishment. It's a private establishment. If they have rules of conduct for employees and customers, it's important that we follow those rules. And if we decide to get combative to the point where they say we can't be there, we have to reassess our own actions. I'm, what am I, excuse me, sorry. I'm always, um, self-reflecting. I always reflect after an interaction in my own mind what I could or could not have done better in that interaction, especially if it was negative. Yes, I've had negative. Tara and I have both had negative experiences 
online and in the real world. They're gonna happen. But it's up to us to determine if escalation in any shape or form or even continuing a dispute is worth our time and energy. So usually if it's at that point, we make the decision to walk away from a dispute because we do want to escalate. So it's better to just say, look, I don't want to deal with this. I understand you're upset. I'm going to go and let it be at that. And, you know, there, there are other polite ways of doing it, but just bluntly, it's, I'm going to go. Thank you for your time. And the, even on, uh, on X or former Twitter, we've actively done that. And it is really, really hard. Think about it. Think about it. It is really, really hard to be the one to walk away in an argument on Twitter. Or, you know, X, formerly Twitter. We, we actually do less saying X, but it's, it's one of those games to do things. But, think about it. If someone's being a being bad to you, how hard is it to ask them to politely leave? Or how hard is it to just say, you know what, it's not worth my time, and to just walk away during an argument? Ask yourself that one. How hard is it for you to be the one to step away? Or are you waiting for them to step away? Or for them to admit their wrong? Or, or apologize? How often are you the one to be the first to apologize? To say, you know what, I'm sorry, things got too heated. I'll do better next time. Or say, look, that's too much for me. I'm, I'm too upset. I need to step away. Think about the last time you've ever had the... Um, the instance where you were the first to do that. And again, I will be... I will be... both proud and impressed if you can think of an instance, even in the recent past, where you have the opportunity to be the first to step out and say, you know what? Apologize, I'm out. And, and to just step away from a dispute. I will, I will be impressed and proud of you. But, moving on, the, the, the great example that Tara personally saw of a dispute where someone needed to be removed from an establishment was a woman in a store they called Discount Food over here. A woman was with her child and was being extremely rude to the cashier. They were trying to be polite. The systems there are much older. They don't use, um... UPC scanners, they, they put everything in manually, so every price site point they have, they put it in manually, they do the tax, they add up the 4.2 and 9% tax manually. We have different packs of whether it was for food or for, you know, not food. Although technically we're not supposed to have tax on food anymore in Oklahoma because that was signed into law, but they're dragging their feet. And I'm noticing that it was supposed to go into effect, supposedly, because I saw some news articles locally, that it was supposed to go into effect so those stores who still get us on their food, they're the ones dragging their feet. And if that's the case, that means they're pocketing the tax money that, w that was originally for the state. So that's a different problem. But anyway, they were grabbing items while they were trying to manually put them in and rushing the cashier at this establishment. And it was then it became very obvious that they were rushing the cashier in a, in a way to make sure certain items in particular were not put in for their payment system. And they're like, I'm sorry, please let me do this. And the cashier was being extremely polite, please let me do this, please let me do this. I just need to put this in, and they, she was just, the customer was just yelling and berating them. So eventually, it came out, was like, I'm sorry, you need to just stop what you're doing. We're done doing business with you, we need to politely ask you to leave. And, the, the woman did something that was just absolutely inappropriate and wrong. Where she pulled out her phone. And start and start recording at that moment after being asked to leave, after everyone in the store, including ourselves, who witnessed everything going on, and started recording, accusing them of kicking her out of the store for the color of her skin. And then they have the audacity of saying, "How dare you treat me like this in front of my daughter?" Oh, we don't. We don't like people who 
use their children as a shield for their bad behavior. We don't like that. But it, it just kept escalating, it kept escalating, and eventually the, all, the owner of the establishment, not, not just the store manager, came out and went, and they were very calm about it. While the lady was recording, like, do you want to watch the recording, you know, see what you do, like, it's, it's right there. It's right up here, and these stores use audio recording as well. But she was trying to... I, I don't even think she realized her behavior was bad, but things kept escalating. So then other people, including Tara, stepped in and said, Look, you heard what they said. You need to leave. You, you are being the disturbance. You are rushing the cashier. You are doing the... The very things that make it more difficult to do their job, and then you started getting combative with them. You got in their face. You violated their personal space. And then reach the point where they ask you to leave. So you need to GTHO. Because I'm not going to curse, but Tara did curse. This was before we had the, the whole no cursing thing. And obviously it was not on a video. And... She again said, how dare you curse at me in front of my child. It's like, look, you're the one being rude. You were already cursing in front of your child. You were cursing in front of your child, cursing at other people. Don't use your child as an excuse. And I feel, I feel so, so bad for her child. Her child had to have been about 11 or 12. And I feel so bad because she's just lightly, lightly tugging on her mom's sleeve. Mom, can we please, can we please just leave? I just want to go. She was embarrassed. She, and it was obviously, it was obvious her daughter knew that her mother was causing trouble. But her mother used her as the shield for her bad behavior. But that was a fine example of, you're not allowed back here. Please don't have her come back. And that's what they said. Once she finally started leaving, they said, please do not ever come back. We do not want doing business. We do not want to be doing business with you anymore. And I fully understand it. The important lesson is don't allow yourself to escalate matters. Well, don't escalate unnecessarily in general, but if things do start escalating, do not allow them to escalate to a point where you're going to be permanently removed from an establishment. And believe it or not, in disputes in real life or on places like Sear and VR chat, they can happen very, very quickly. So, conflict management and conflict resolution are very important traits to learn in life. And I don't mean conflict management, but does the conflict management means preventing this, not getting to that point. That would be bad. That would mean you absolutely failed in your conflict management. But please, don't think just of your situation. If you've gotten, if you've been picked from a world, don't think just about yourself. Think that usually it's a vault pit system that you didn't see. You can consider that, but also be considerate of the rules they have for their establishment. If you are, are going into a place already not respecting the rules that they have clearly posted. And I know that's a messy subject, but if they don't, if, if they're not ever changing, then, you know, un, you know, enforce it in unbalanced fashion, I can understand these things. That's, but if they have very specific rules not to violate and you openly violate those rules because for whatever reason, then you're already not respecting the rules of that establishment. Which means that place is off. If you're not going to respect their rules, that place isn't for you. And I don't exactly want... We don't exactly want that because it only invites more conflict. And what they're trying to do is have less conflict. And again, if you, if you had verbal conflict with these people to the point where he felt necessary to block them and it's their establishment that establishment is not for you i understand maybe your friends go there maybe there was something there that you really really liked but if you've beefed as they said if you've beefed with the owners 
of that establishment to the point you have to block them. Whether or not it is their, their rules of do not block the owners, I'm going to say the or not as in there too. If you beat with the owners of an establishment to the point you have to block them, that establishment is not for you. And it was because you made the decision. Your decision to block them should be telling you to tell you that place isn't for you. Anyway, I do kind of, well, I, I, um, yeah, I do kind of apologize for going on that little tangent. And what, I, I saw it right before I started getting ready for this video, and I, I am kind of late, but not too bad today. But I, I, I you know, and, and again, I'm not going to call this, this, uh, this creator out by name. I'm not going to do that. It would be inappropriate to do so. But those who see this video, who would have experience being ticked from a world, please give some consideration of the situation around being ticked from that world. And sometimes, and, and this was mentioned in another video by another creator about being, you know, leading to world kicks. And some of it is being in a large instance where your avatar is just too large a file. Where it causes too many drops and just causes people's devices to just, you know, go crazy. And sometimes it could be that maybe they're saying, please have a size limit or, you know, a, um, what, what, what do they call it? It's, um, you can't even look at this number, um, I just pressed the wrong button. Um... Is it the... What do they call it? Quality? Oh jeez, tech... Oh jeez. Um... But yeah, like the, the... You know, the quality worse, you know, like good... Fair, poor, very poor. Maybe they have a thing where it's like... Fair and, and better. And... If yours is rated very poor and it's causing system problems, you can try to ask people to change their avatars, but some people are really set in their ways. And eventually they're going to get kicked from the world because they just can't stop overloading people's systems. That's a whole different thing. It's a whole different thing, but it was already covered and that could be a potential reason. Always think of the potentials. Or what led to that? Not just, I can't believe I would, you know, not just that I can't believe I was just kicked from the world. I don't know why. You know, take a step back. And more than half the time, definitely more than half the time, I'm going to say a majority of the time, there was a reason to be were kicked from an instance. It, we've only seen, witnessed a few instances of people being boat kicked from a world. And usually, what we, in those instances, they will, uh, this per, these group, types of people who convince others to boat kick someone, will ask very inappropriate and, or, and or rude questions and put people on the spot. And if they don't answer the way they want, they will go from person to person to person to person to person saying, hey, we need to vote pick this person. You see that? You need to hit yes on there. Hit yes, because they're, they're, they're an idiot. So, and, and it'll just be a tumble effect. And I understand it's not on you, but if they, if they agree in their ignorance, then it's not, it's not for you because there are too many ignoranuses in, in there. The establishment's not for you. We were him. But those, those situations, again, are rare. I, I seldom ever seen them, but again, I don't go into public very often, but in my cases of seeing boat picks, there was a reason, usually very valid reasons, of people thinking they're being a troll, but really they're just harassing people. How about that? That's the primary reason I've seen people get picked by worlds, is harassment. And again, Phones or phones going a lot, a lot, we got a lot of, who's messaging? Let me take a look. Might be. It was Tara's best friend. So we're going to go take a look at it. He's saying he's very excited. So we're going to, 
we're gonna go ahead and get going because we want to see why Tara's best friend, who we don't talk to very often, is super excited. There's gotta be a good reason for this one, so we want to see that one. We want everyone else, though. Again, really sorry that we went off on this tangent we have, and got a little in your face there and had more serious talk than we initially anticipated, but... Social awareness is one of those thoughts for us where we always try to be considerate, but we also try to think uh, beyond just ourselves kind of thing. We, we, we try. We're not, we're not perfect at it. Absolutely. There, were, there are others who can easily... <laughs> eh, my throat's really dry right now. I think I need to get some throat coat. But... There are plenty of instances that someone could, easy, could likely put in the comment times I've slipped. I or even Tara have slipped up. Because we can slip up. We're human. Well, Tara is human. Anyway, please enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I know it's the 20th of October, so we've got 11 days left in this month. And six days to Tara doing the hurdy hurt. We're, we're very excited to watch Tara... Rise in pain from the toll of Satan Towns. That's going to be very exciting. We want everyone to enjoy the rest of this Sunday. I know it's day 294. I'm very tired. I'm very tired. Please, sweet pea, don't keep us up tonight. We'd like to go to bed at a decent hour. That would be fantastic. But anyway, please take care of yourselves, everyone. And we will see you all tomorrow on Monday. Hopefully things are nicer. We'd like them to be nicer tomorrow. In the meantime... I have some editing to do. We have some chatting with our best friend from, from middle school. We, we've been friends since the year 2000. We're our best friend. So we're very excited to speak to him. It's really amazing. And we, and we will say this. Our best friend from middle school was in the, in the California Valley is where we met and became best friends, and we grew up there. Or Taryn and he grew up there. Yet now he knew us living in Oklahoma. He lives 30 miles away in the next town over. It's amazing. It is amazing how things turned out like that. But anyway, thank Tara, everyone. We'll see you all tomorrow. That's enough. That's enough stalling from me. Bye.